how you doing everybody i'm kit and welcome back to another episode today i'm joined by mommy and you do have a stomachache today. I have a stomachache today, guys. And it's my birthday, imagine. Happy birthday, baby girl. Mm. Notice that I don't even kiss her. She doesn't like touches. I've got my hand on her. She doesn't want me to kiss her, touch her. It's a lot. I love you, baby. Happy birthday to you and to me. Thank you, mommy. Happy you. birthday. Thank you, baby girl. Well done. Thank you. In this episode, I'm going to be asking you questions. Mm -hmm. They are strange questions that I got from this page called the Dark Reddit. The Dark what? It doesn't matter. Spell that. Reddit. The Dark. Uh, like the the, the, the dark. Artudo. No, oh. Dark. Dark. Yeah, but they're not dark questions. They're oh, just okay. strange human questions. Okay. And I wanted to hear what you had to say about them because you're an interesting person. Okay. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and like, and also you can listen to us on podcast on Spotify and I'm going to leave the link below. So follow us on Spotify because a lot of people like to listen to us when they're driving, working, they don't necessarily watch us. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's get into it. Okay. What small habit if done every day, do you think can lead to the biggest personal achievement in a year? Okay. So that would go individual by individual. Mm -hmm. So I will go by me. Sure. What small habit, yeah. if done every day, yes. would lead to the biggest the achievement? Biggest personal achievement. achievement. Yeah. For me, it would be having quiet time with the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every day. Mm -hmm. every Imagine day. 365 days. 365 quiet times. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that would lead to an amazing spiritual transformation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and an, a, and an uplifting. It would be not only a transformation within me, mm -hmm. but would impact my family, mm -hmm. and would be a big impact on my ministry. Yeah, for sure, obviously. Yes. Yeah, yes. it comes at the part of ministry. Yes. Because if you're teaching, you need to be also a student. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, for me, it would be quiet time. What's the most dangerous thing that people don't realize is actually really dangerous? One eternity later. Promise Kitty. Did I go dark? Oop! <laughs> and I ooped. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because mm. I'm thinking immediately it, for mental health, for mental it, wellness. Exactly. It takes away so much. Yeah, like you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. You're working the, yeah. over time. You're working over time yes. and even one promiscuous sexual encounter mm. lives with you. You know how the but Bible what do you says mean promiscuous, like what do you what sexual promiscuity? Yeah, yeah, having yeah. sex with somebody who is not, um, uh, who is not an intimate partner, like they're just a person. They're just a 
person but you know yeah. there's this thing called intimate partner so there's this intimate partner mm. this year and then next year i have another intimate partner mm. Mm. that's promiscuity is it yes because mm. you know how you can have serial intimate partners yeah 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 it is promiscuity for me i feel like the the energy exchange is something that people don't really pay attention to yes yeah there is so much you take that you so give, much and, give and you give so, so much, much yeah. and expect so much yeah. that at the end of it all, mm. you just feel like so much has been taken mm. away from you, yeah. but you don't know, you can't touch it. You can it spirals yeah, like into some destructive other behavior. It yeah. doesn't even travel alone. It travels <laughs> it with has, finances. It has, it has uh, a posse. It has a posse. It has financial... Uh, what was the word we were looking at? Promiscu promiscuity. Yes, it travels with financial promiscuity. So that yeah. you're now using your finances in ways that you uh, can't track. You, exactly. <laughs> it travels with um, uh, social promiscuity. Yo. Yeah. It travels. Another thing it travels with is um, spiritual promiscuity. Yeah. You are never clear where you are yeah. spiritually. It just strips one. And uh, oh, we don't, wow. we, we don't, you don't realize it. We don't think about no. it. Uh, I, but that thing, that, that thing can take away. It can, It eh? can take away a lot. That, for that one, many a woman who, who could have just recovered from a broken relationship yeah. has to see a shrink. Nadawa. Nadawa juyake. Oh. Mm. Noted. Yeah. What's the most private thing? you're willing to admit the most private thing yeah private yes <laughs> ah, i mean the most private thing right now is like my stomach is hurting that's the most private thing I'm but willing to yeah admit. but that's instant and yeah. that is and and and, and you're, you're but you're not admitting that it's going with the diarrhea yeah it's i have diarrhea that's stomach the, hurting is my normal. stomach is hurting my i have diarrhea it's crazy that's yeah. the most private thing I'm willing to admit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you? I don't know. You know, it, uh, the, this question is so contextual. So you, your answer has come mm -hmm. with the context of where you are at at now. At now. Mm -hmm. So maybe I need to think at this particular moment, yes. what would be m the most private thing that I'm willing to admit? Yeah. Uh, that... I really do not like so and so. I tolerate them and I operate with them in, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> in, 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 in the context of I am commanded to love. Woo! So I operate with them on love actions, right. not the practice of love rather than being 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 l loving i don't like them i don't love you i don't like you but you're still dry up my and blow person. away <laughs> if you could no but if you could then that that would then probably send me into some guilt trip right, or something. right. so don't dry up and, and <laughs> blow away just just be there but i i i, I don't like you got it yeah what is the best holiday gift you've ever given someone? Best. Mm -hmm. The best holiday gift? Yes. Or a really, okay, fine, a really good one. I know you don't like working with extreme, like, ex, what are they called? Ex, not extremes. Like when you say never and always, that's expellatives. Expellatives. I know you don't yeah. like working with expellatives, but oh. what's a really, really good gift for like the holidays, Christmas or easter or new year's that you've ever given someone so then it's more of a group i took the whole family on holiday to a hotel oh. and we were able to stay several uh several days in that hotel and i had saved and actually been paying to the hotel oh wow 
yeah the whole year every month wow. i sent yeah. Yeah. yeah and so then that was a holiday that was very easy for everybody yeah. because nobody had to think Clean about com accommodation mm -hmm. or food mm -hmm. it was full board yes no cleaning up no nothing it was a, 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 a posh hotel yeah. and it was a fully paid for holiday for the whole family look at you plus your boyfriend mm -hmm. who is currently your husband indeed yes. i mean that was a long time ago it was a long was my boyfriend. <laughs> he was in college that was long. You, all, you, all of you were in college actually yeah yes yeah what is a travel hack you think everyone should know you travel a lot yes okay that most airports have a prayer room and you can go in there and curl up on the carpet and fall asleep that's right yes. that is correct so important for me just and, locating and the you know because i sometimes i have a six six hour layover and you've traveled the whole night yeah you're fatigued and I especially if you have little ones i remember that when i was traveling with kelly when she was two yes i remember that and did, I remember did, did that. you go to the prayer room? I did, but I could only go in with her. We had to leave Martin outside because prayer rooms are yes, gender yes, segregated. Yes, yes, yes. Which, yeah. But there's a prayer room for men. Yeah, so he had to go to the... Uh, he, I don't think he actually did go to the prayer room for the men. Yes. But we went in and we lay down and yes, we yes. could have some And you time. find some other people yeah, who are... Some, there, were some actually actually families. Families. there was actually There were actually very many moms and babies. Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. laying, some were praying. Yes. But it was a nice, quiet space. For yes. Us to sit. Yes. And the yeah. baby is happy in in in, in yes. that prayer room. Yeah. Yes. That one. I love that. Good hack, yeah. mommy. What is the dumbest thing someone has ever said to you? You're fat. That is dumb AF. And I wasn't eating at their house. <laughs> you were not eating their food. And not their food. I don't use the loo. You know what? Nowadays we tell people who ask you what have you been eating. I've heard you say it. I've heard Mitch say it. It's not nice. So I'm not going to say it. But you know they they deserve that thing that they get, huh? Yeah. And <laughs> one time, mm. um, in response to your fat, yeah. I think I've had it. Yeah. I did tell somebody, oh well, basically, I, I said to this person, well, thin people are there and we, 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 even, we all survive. We all survive. We all survive. And the person said, oh, like us. Mm. And I did not respond. You did not respond. And they haven't told me you're fat since. <laughs> I don't think so you did respond <laughs> i think they did respond yeah. good for you yeah good for you yeah i mean just uh, you know i mean i don't know how how fat takes away from people have i uh, am i traveling with your fat <laughs> have i taken away anything from your hips uh what am i doing uh, yeah is are you being bathless <laughs> because of me because of me yeah, yeah have i flattened your ass mm. <laughs> honestly what? what's that shut up really <laughs> yeah. yeah yes ma'am so i think what what we also need to what and i'm a much older woman yeah I, I, it's too much aggression that yeah kind of yeah I, I i shouldn't be getting it i'm 62 this year you honestly so where does it stop when so, when does it stop man <laughs> so i think we need to normalize mm -hmm. telling someone mm -hmm. never talk to me about my body thin or fat mm -hmm. Ever again, that's, I have that's taken away your response. permission. That's always my response. Yeah, I never know, say anything I don't know else. What I to always do just with say, a loved one. That's what I say I to loved to, ones. Yeah. Never comment on my body again. Yes. And people go into defense mode. Yeah, and, don't. And, and, I just, and I just keep quiet and listen to them spiral. 
<laughs> yeah, because you deserve that. Yes. Yeah. Next yeah. time before you say something, think or shut yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't tell it to other people, but don't tell it to me. Yeah. Please. I mean, no, that, but, that's boundary. But what I what I find with people that I have told, never tell me that again. They don't tell other people. Oh, they stop because telling that, it the to whole people. the harrowing experience of having to spiral and explain and this that and the other is something people never forget they don't forget easily yeah 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 uh, one time oh, I, did I didn't mean it to yeah. i didn't mean it oh, I, uh, yeah. no it's bullying and one time in the face of that type of bullying and it wasn't i being bullied yeah. it was my loved one yeah uh about her body weight yeah I did tell the person who was bullying her, mm. you, you have a fat stomach and we don't talk about it. <laughs> you, I was upset and this fat stomached person said, oh, but uh, my stomach is like that. Mm. And I said, exactly, mm. but we don't talk about your fat stomach and it's not healthy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now that we are talking about, about fat people, parts. Fat, fat, fat parts. Yeah. Now that we are talking mm. about fat parts, your stomach is fat and it's unhealthy. Yeah. Yeah, so but you see us keeping quiet about yeah, it. Yeah, nobody uh, you because you, everybody has a mouth for years I've been watching you walk in with your fat stomach. I never say a thing about your fat stomach I mean for heaven's sake huh? I, And these are people who people who have <laughs> bad body images bad body always it's always always it's trying always. to pull you down so that we can yeah. be ugly together Yeah, 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 and yet people and are in the image of God. Yeah, and it doesn't matter how they look They could be snatched. They could have a really good body, but their body image it, It's their body it's warped, image. So they put that out yes. into the world. Yes, and you know it comes straight from Satan You know why kid? Yeah, because we are made in the image yeah. of Yahweh. Yeah, all of us. All of us are made in the image of Yahweh. Yeah. So we are beautiful. Yeah. But when somebody is trying to tell you you don't look as good as you think, yeah. it's because they think they, they think. are ugly. Yeah. And that comes from Satan's Yeah, work. obviously. He steals, obviously. Kills, kills, and, and destroys. destroys your self-esteem. Kabisa. What is something you do in a hotel room that you never do at home? Uh, sleep with my head across the bed mm. and my legs dangling on this side because I'm alone in that huge oh, bed. Why would you sleep like that? It's a six by six and I don't have a six by six at home. And the, the, like your feng shui is not messed up? Oh no, baby, no. No, it's the freedom of I can sleep at the clockwise and then clockwise. -clockwise. Yes, I can keep rotating. Yeah. So maybe that. The other thing that I do I, I do, do in a hotel room mm -hmm. um, that I may not necessarily do at home is when I am leaving my, my room, I, I must leave it in a certain level of neatness. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I do that too. And then yeah. Martin is like, what are you doing? Yeah, no, I have to yeah. because yeah. I'm thinking this is not my own space and mm. I must honor the people who come to clean up. So to I do it too. To yeah, it's point. just, yeah, yeah just um, honoring those people. Yeah. But in my own room, it's my room. Yeah. So in honoring myself, I, I, I can leave it a particular way and then come back and fix it later. Yeah. But uh, this one, somebody will come and fix it immediately. Yes. So I have to leave it in a certain yeah, level yeah, of yeah. respect. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. What was normal when you were a kid, but you never see anymore? Uh, drinking water all over Nairobi. <gasps> Those water fountains, the water fountains all over Nairobi and the water is so clean. In the 60s and 70s, I would just press a fountain and drink the water and it was good clean water all Bruh. over. And then, bro bottled water came and we laughed we said oh, can anybody anybody buy water, water in, in a bottle there is free water yeah and there's free water so why I do you need to buy carry around water yes. when everywhere you go you're going to find water to drink yes so i think they made the water dirty so that they can sell their bottled water mommy you're shouting there, you're shouting, shouting you're shouting yes. you're yeah. yeah why can't the water be clean and we just drink it but no where will the all these water bottle companies go the water is dirty so that they can sell 
even the minister of water drinks water from a bottle you're minister shaking, you're shaking you're of shaking water okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're shaking the table too much the table is breaking you know what for, for me what was normal as a kid i don't see anymore fireflies oh i've that not so seen sad. a firefly in years really yeah in even when where there are fireflies so I think I've I taken your children to see fireflies in Park. Oh, when thank God they're when still we there. switch here, thank God they're still when there. you turn off the, the all the lights, sometimes we have too much light pollution. Yeah, I mean, I mean there's light pollution, but yeah. thank God they're still there. They're still there because you know there's things. But we that we terrorize them actually yeah, because sure. they have to look for a place yeah, that's dark enough to that's attract dark enough. enough. Yeah, human beings are the worst thing to ever happen to planet Earth. My we are the apple of the uh, almighty's eye. I think we should have been put somewhere else because we're destroying this one Anyhow, okay um, Hypothetical situation. You're not at home Your home is invaded You have an alarm system that locks the doors and traps the intruder inside calls police and blasts a song What song are you choosing? I'm choosing <laughs> I'm choosing. Mm -hmm. I, I know exactly. <laughs> God be with you till we meet again. Terra, <laughs> 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 on slow mode, on repeat. Terra. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I think you I would choose I think I would uh, choose baby shark to lulu lulu baby shark to lulu <laughs> <laughs> or that or that theme, the theme song of um jaws dun 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 and then starts again dun <laughs> Okay Quisha what is a women's thing in quotes that you think men should absolutely start doing? Oh, opening up to each other mm -hmm. and speaking from the heart and crying, just speaking to your brothers and telling them, "Let's. This is what happened. This is what I'm going through." That. Mom, if we, if we can bring up the next generation to speak to each other, we will have done the biggest service to the our loved ones. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that one. That Even one. You? That one. That one. Yes. I mean, those, these are people who are suffering. Yes, they are. They are suffering, and they can't even go for therapy because. No. You've held it now. Some for of so them long. are going for therapy, mm -hmm. but they can't really say that they're going for therapy because, they can't, yeah, because only the weak go for therapy, mm -hmm. and even the women in their lives are the ones who put them down, yeah, and tell them why be man up, yeah, yeah, go for therapy, go for therapy. Why are you crying, crying? Oh, really? Yeah, yes, we're toxic, everybody's toxic, of course, yes. That thing yeah. is not created by men. No, it's created by society. society. It's a gender thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Society creates it and holds it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, 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 I watch women telling their little boys, yeah. don't cry, don't you're cry. a boy. Yeah. You're a man. Yeah. You're a man. A three, you're telling Basically, a three year old you're a man. Hold it in <laughs> so that one day when you're an older person, yeah. you can bash the wall yeah. and as beat soon your as you wife. finish, beat your wife. Yeah. And then kill yeah. yourself. And then burn the house yeah. and kill everybody. Bus. Yeah. 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 Whew. That was painful. That's a lot. Mm. What is one of life's biggest traps that people fall into? Financial traps. Loan? Yeah, like that loan for not a business, not a huh? yeah, loan to buy a not even a car. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, no, ah, wait, I know the one. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. financial. Hey! Mm. Being guarantor for somebody else borrowing money. Bro! Ah! <laughs> How? Ah! No, 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 no
no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no no you know what the, the Bible answer, says? The answer is a plain no. Do you know what the Bible says? Yes, so only, only the foolish. Yeah. Good. The Bible says you are stupid. The foolish. You are stupid. You are foolish. You took a loan on behalf of somebody. And it says, hurry, run, <laughs> run, run, hasten, hasten, <laughs> and go to the person who you, uh, for, uh, for, who, who, who <laughs> the, the debt, the, huh? The debtor. The creditor. The debtor. The debtor. The debtor. The debtor. The the debtor. The debtor. No, the one who's owed the money. Ah, the and say, <laughs> say, I am so sorry. My, that's my bad. It is my bad. Uh, I am paying you like this yeah. quickly. Yeah. And pay it up so that you free yourself because the Bible says even the bed you sleep on shall be taken from under you. While your bro that you took the loan for. Oh no, no, they've crossed the border. Why should they do anything about it? Ujinga niwako, and why should they be in charge of your stupidity? And I watch people be guarantors <sighs> back to back. Huh? Yeah. Somebody called me recently to say, uh, I lent so and so 8,000 shillings. Mm. No, I, w I, I went and borrowed 8,000 shillings mm. on behalf of so and so. Mm. and uh, But now she's not taking my calls. I wonder why. And, uh, and the, the Shylock, mm. <laughs> the money is increasing. The Shylock wants their money. Can you give it to me? So I, I, I realized that I was getting being uh, organized to now be being the guarantor of the guarantor. Being organized. Being organized to be the guarantor of the guarantor. And the guarantor. So then, of course, I would say, could I have my 8,000 shillings? Yeah. And I'd be told, no, but no, the other, other person, person has not paid. Oh, my girl. Yes. So now I'd be now with Mjigawa. <laughs> oh, to the second power square. Aha, Mjinga squared. Yeah, so no. Yeah, that's the one. Mm. What is the most obscene display of wealth you have ever seen? Obscene. <laughs> it's usually around uh, funerals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, a coffin that's going into the ground that costs like a, a hundred and something thousand. Yeah. Shall we end there? Maybe. <laughs> hey! What? <laughs> what is the most ingenious thing you have ever done for money? You know, ingenious is me all the time, huh? Hey, excuse us. No, we are sorry. No, I'm not mm -hmm. speaking from a place of um, vanity. Okay. I'm just stating that I am creative. Yeah, walk on us. Um, we are your rug. <laughs> I'm we are your red carpet. I'm, very <laughs> I'm clever, so yeah, there are so yeah. many to think about. Mm -hmm. um, okay, tell us one, because you are ingenious all the time. Um, these are those moments where I usually cut to. One eternity later. I know. Yeah, it's true. It's true because and I am to you. choose. <laughs> no, I can't slap you. It's your birthday. Yeah, mm -hmm. but tomorrow I won't the be sun with you tomorrow. Will I won't be with you. I shall tomorrow. find you no way to sleep. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, the most ingenious thing I've done. One of one yeah, of the one most of. Inge ingenious things I've done. Yes. For money yeah. is uh, during COVID selling, making a jam out of hibiscus flowers mm -hmm. and uh, selling. Yeah, parking that, on the side of the road. Parking on the side of the road yeah. and selling those and also eventually going into the markets in the malls mm. and uh, uh, selling my hibiscus jam. Yeah. 
in those spaces. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it became the only income yes. that we were able to have yeah. for many months for for food. And I, I realized that, okay, fine, this is time to put on my apron, yeah. pack my car by the side of the road, yeah. and what do I have to sell? Yeah. I'm a, I make German, so that's what I did. Oh, well, you're a yes. very good girl. Yes, yeah. so it wasn't a huge sums of money, mm -hmm. like I've made in other things. Yeah. It was yeah. actually yeah. only enough for food. Yes. Yes. Well done. Yeah. Two well meals done. a day, actually. Very good. Yes. We learned to eat two meals then. Yeah. And we're still eating two meals because we realized, oh, yeah. we didn't need the third meal. No. Kumbe, we haven't never need it, needed it. Never. <laughs> never. Yeah. What new hobby would you like to pick up and recommend to others? Hobby. Yes. Hobby. Yes. What's wrong with the word hobby, mommy? You know, when you tell a, a woman my age something about hobbies, mm -hmm. um, it sounds, <sighs> that's work. Okay, mm -hmm. so therefore, mm -hmm. maybe, uh, for, okay, so now let me speak to women my age who yeah. have grandchildren. Yeah. A regular uh, play date with all my grandchildren. Oh! Oh, that one time you did that? Yes, I did. And it was you lovely. thoroughly enjoyed it. I totally enjoyed it. They all came. They Actually, like, I didn't even have like, to cook. And it wasn't even chips. your... Like, you had your grandchildren, yes, but you yes. also had some little nieces and nephews. Yes. And you had some, some friends. Yes. So all so these like grandchildren, 14, yes. It was like 14. Yes, they come, they play, and I, I you know, yeah, built for them a play area, yeah, and yeah. I've got lots of, 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 of toys. toys. Yes. Yeah, and so to create a regular play date yes. with uh, my grandchildren. Yeah. Yes, oh. yeah, because I'm not hanging out enough with people of those ages. Mm -mm. I'm hanging out a lot more with adults. Yeah, and I'm not hanging out with the teenagers. And no. sorry, teenagers, I'm not intending to create a. I mean, me neither. Thing. Me neither. No. Me mm. neither. But what if their grandchildren are teenagers? Would you? Still? One day, my grandchildren will be teenagers. Yeah, so would you still recommend I will they do that? Continue doing it with my grandchildren. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I and and teenager, teenagers treat grand grandparents a different Very way differently. from how they treat. Uh, Quite right. Yes. Yeah. So yes. Played it with my with my grandchildren. Yeah. Um, I think at least every two months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Last question. Mm -hmm. What are you starting to like less and less the older you get? Big house. <whistles> Don't wanna go upstairs. Don't wanna <laughs> clean the library. <laughs> You wanna figure out how the toilets upstairs are, whether they're clean Don't or care. Not. Leave me alone. Don't care. Intending to close it down and rent it out. Full time Airbnb, please. I don't care for it. And if it's time to entertain a big group, Kwani tents nizanini. Just get the tents. I don't want any big. Spaces, yeah, that I need to figure out. Oh, how is the furniture there? Mm. Is it clean? Mm -hmm. Does it need yeah. uh, laundry? Yeah. I uh, please, please, please. And your upstairs is big enough for another house. It is. It's three bedrooms and a library, and I, I don't need that. Huh? Um, but I did, I did. I did know that you I did know that you did that, that on purpose. It. I did it on purpose. Yeah, because there were people to stay in it. Yeah, and I did know that one day. Yes, this space. And I remember you saying that. Yes, and because you can easily install a kitchen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's so easy. we've already designed it in such a way that um, it's going to. Yeah. It was pre-designed to be was, to, yeah. to be let out, yeah. and so now it's already an Airbnb. But now I'd like for it to be a full-time Airbnb mm. that's completely independent of my unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay, so you asked yeah. if there was a thing to advise people, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I in know. one of the earlier questions, uh -huh. yeah. So this question ties to that question yeah. and it comes to 
if I knew then what I know now, yes. um, I wouldn't have built one big unit for me and my family. Mm -hmm. I would, because I already You'd have already three started cottages. off. I would have started off having like cottages only. You see how there's three cottages on ah, the property. Yeah. I would have had my cottage, your cottage, yeah. Tawi's cottage, yeah. Mitch's cottage, yeah. and that would be what the uh, house is. That's the house. And that's so much easier to let out as Airbnb or oh for whatever goodness. else. Oh my goodness. Whatever else, yeah. I would never build one big house. Okay. It's traditional, yeah. but it's not practical. No. And it's not even an, our, our tradition. The, no, it's our not. Our tradition is to build those many, many, houses. many houses. Yes. And so I, I, uh, we took on a Western tradition. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And try and resell that five no. bedroom house. No, now. no, no, ma'am. You've got a problem. No, problem right there. Yeah. That was so fun. Oh, we are done. We are done. That was the last question. <laughs> Happy birthday again. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed. I thoroughly enjoyed hearing your answers on those things. So interesting. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and please come back to the channel. Don't Will stay you have so long. Back? I will. Just invite me and I'll come. Okay. I see you with all kinds of little little girls your age uh, and, and wondering, oh, is she ever going to invite me to the channel now that she's hanging out with her age mates? Mm -hmm. But here I am. Yay! Apondinya mama. Apondinya Apondinya mama. Apondinya now how is your stomach? It still hurts. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But until next time guys. Bye.